Look how happy I am. Not happy, happy. That's right, Anna, tell them, subscribe. <laughs> yeah. Anna said, yeah. All right, how many of you have a reflector and you're not really quite sure how to use it to get the best results? It's not uncommon for photographers to get this and think there's only one way to use something like this and blast silver or blast uh, gold. Uh, but there's a lot of different things you can do with a reflector, whether it's an overcast day like today, bright and sunny day, uh, or even sitting in open shade. So today we're on a beach um, and it's a very overcast day. Sun's coming in and out, so I don't know uh, what kind of light we're gonna be dealing with, but I'm not bringing strobes. I'm just bringing this one reflector uh, and I'm gonna show you a variety of ways to use it uh, to create pleasing portraits. So let's get started. So one of the first ways I like to use this is to backlight my subject. Uh, what will end up happening is if you're a natural light photographer, right, and you like light and airy, nothing wrong with that, what do you do though? You blow out the background uh, and you kind of try to expose for their face. Well, this is a nice way to add light uh, with a what you see is what you get mentality. So what I do is we're gonna backlight Anna, the sun's back there, uh, right? It's very difficult for me to see, uh, so I wouldn't want her looking that way. Uh, and then I'm gonna put this reflector right on her waist and just push some of that light up, okay? Uh, now, if you've watched me work in studio, uh, Westcott makes a, um, uh, it's called the eye lighter. It's this curved reflector. I use it in the same way to push that light up, fill those shadows under her neck. So we're gonna go right here, okay? And her, what's gonna end up happening, I'm gonna take two pictures for you so you can see with and without. So let me do that first. Let me take without, and I'm gonna do that for all of these first, right? So I'm at, uh, I'm using a 7200, I'm at ISO 100, uh, F2.8, I'm in aperture priority mode. So I'm gonna take this picture at zeroed out exposure, I'm not gonna overexpose. Here we go, one, two. Okay, so that's with, let me, let me pull back here a little bit more too so you can see kind of what's happening. Here we go, one, two. Okay, perfect. So that's with no additive light on the reflector. I don't, I think it's amateur, uh, quite frankly. So you've got to understand light. And so if you're just kind of showing up, natural light, overexposing everything, it's a look, but you've got to master your craft, right? And so this gives us a little bit more of that dimension and it's just a reflector. This one's from Westcott, very inexpensive, very good quality. And now we're going to put it right here. So Ellie, come on in, hold this here. Um, and they're looking at the eyes. That's all they're looking at. So look right at me, Anna. There we go. Beautiful. And now I'm going to take that same shot. One, two, three. Okay. And immediately her eyes are popping. Keep this down. Chin this way just a little bit, Anna. Chin down. One, two, three. Gorgeous. Okay. And there's an incredible difference. Let's get the video camera in here real quick. So get like you're going to take a portrait with the video camera. Okay. So there it is. You're seeing her right there. And now when I bring in light, you're seeing that right there. Anna's having a hard time keeping her eyes open, uh, but that's okay. And so I do like to do this technique, even in open shade. Uh, you can also have your assistant kind of hold it here uh, to change that direction of light. So let's take that picture, uh, Ellie. So here, Right there, beautiful. And a chin to your right just a little. Gorgeous, one, two, one, two. Okay, so big differences in the way these look. Here we go. Looking right at me, one, two. Hey now, you enjoying this video? Like, comment, subscribe, caught you. Caught you watching, you gotta subscribe to the channel so we can do more of these, right Anna? Tell them subscribe. <laughs> Anna said, yeah. I like it, all right. Mom, she's yours, you made her. All right, so now you're seeing um, that one way of doing this. Very nice, very pleasing, okay? So that's number one. The second way uh, that we can use something like this uh, instead of going from underneath is throw the light. So as we're filming here, sunlight's come out really, really, uh, I don't wanna say super hard, it's still kind of behind some clouds. But let's throw this from here now. So I want this over your head and you're gonna throw this now. I typically want this being held uh, just off my shoulder, right? I don't want it being thrown from over there unless she's looking that way. Uh, so let's go high with this. Let's find it on her. Right there, beautiful. Okay, so let me get this shot. Good, here we go. I'm gonna pull back a little bit more now. Chin down, one, two. 
One, two. Now get rid of the reflector. One, two. Nope, I see it hit, see something in there. One, two. And so there is a very distinctive difference in her eyes with and without that reflector. Um, and the harder that light is, that's, that's coming out, the more distinctive that difference is gonna be. Okay, so now you're seeing with and without that reflector. And again, the brighter it is out, the harder that throw is gonna be. All right, so inside most five and ones, you're gonna find a scrim. I've uh, run into many, many photographers who don't even understand what this is or use it. As you can see, I'm making the worst camera face ever. Look at me now though, huh? Look how happy I am. Not happy, happy. All right, so this is what you're gonna use this for. So now the scrim can be used when we're in direct light situations. Uh, so if you look at Anna right now, she's having a really hard time. Um, she's got bad shadows on her uh, and they'll be worse. Remember, the sun isn't as harsh or direct as it normally is on a beach. But the minute I bring this in to scrim her, okay, now I'm so completely softening that light uh, and normally this is about a one stop. Uh, every scrim is different, so you have to see what the manufacturer says. It could be one stop or two stop um, scrim, it just depends. I think this one's about one stop, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. So girls, let's hold this up. What this allows me to do now is to photograph her uh, with direct sunlight, but I'm scrimming it, okay? So here we go. Anna looking at me this way. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. Okay. What was it, Anna? It was not a B. There was no way it was a B. It was something. It just wasn't a B. It looked invisible, Anna. All right, here we go. Uh, lean one way or the other for me. Gorgeous. What if that hand comes over to the wrist and you're leaning more this way? Yeah, let the legs cross everything. Love that. Beautiful. Uh, somebody help me with hair. Here we go. All right, so now I've got nice, even light on her. Beautiful. And a tilt your head to the left just a little. Yep, chin more left. Right there, beautiful. Gorgeous, one, two. One, two. Good, looking at me now, Anna. Bring your chin back right there. Looking right at me. Chin, chin down. A little more, play. don't fade on me. You're getting stale in your look. There you go. Beautiful. Okay, give me some, let's see, um, what else can you do from a pose perspective up here? You wanna go out with your arms? Well, I like that, Anna. That is stunning. Here we go. Point that toe. Gorgeous. Chin this way, just a dinch. Yep. Here we go, Al, that right arm. Here we go, one, two, chin down. Right arm, Al. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, one, two, one, two. Stay there. Here we go, Anna. One, two, looking away. Beautiful. Watch your blinking, one, two, one, two. Gorgeous, okay. What I'm gonna do is pop that down, go back to that pose, Anna. Same there, and I'm gonna take this picture with nothing. Oh, I'm gonna use that with your face, one, two. Gorgeous, thank you. Okay, so hopefully that helps guys. Let me know in the comments which, uh, which set of images is your favorite. Hopefully you're seeing the difference or how to make that five in one a little more useful. Of course, the only difference is you could use gold, it's gonna warm up the skin, uh, but you're seeing three unique ways that we use that uh, from a scrim, from an underneath reflector in open shade, from throwing that light uh, to create some really cool portraits anywhere on location. Good luck, see you in the next video.